Hello and welcome to the Arma 3 Launcher Getting Started Guide. I'm going to show you how to use the Arma 3 Launcher and to set it up properly for ops. Uh, before we start, you need to make sure your BT Sync is completely done and that you have the entire content pack. You need the files. Alright, let's get right into it. Start up Arma 3. It's going to launch your Arma 3 Launcher here. You can completely ignore the first tab, which is News. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that. There's plenty of other sources. Next tab, Parameters. The first box, keep it unchecked. Uh, this was the old way of doing things where you would just plug in the launch line and it would launch your mods. You don't need to do that anymore. That's what this guide's for. Check the first two box, or first, second and third box if you uh, want your game to start up a little bit quicker. You don't need to do the intros. Don't worry about checking windowed. Uh, you can set that in game and have a little bit more uh, options for that. Uh, the last thing is in the advanced part of this, go into client. If you want your game to start directly into our server without going to the main menu, check this first and third box for address and password. Punch in remove kebab.org and 123456, the password. When you start your game, it will bring you directly into the server. No questions asked, it's faster. Third tab, mods. Okay, yours is going to look a little different than this. The first one is going to say Arma 3. It's going to be checked, and you're not going to have anything underneath it if you haven't set this up before. You need to add each individual mod folder through this button right here, just the add folders. Uh, that's going to bring you to your Arma 3 directory, and if your BT sync is done and everything is in the Arma 3 directory, you will be adding A3G content pack, A3G maps pack, A3G mod pack, and at all in Arma Terrain Pack. Those four are the important ones. You can also add your optional mod pack if you have one of those as well. I've got a bunch of crap in here because I test stuff. Anyway, it's going to pop up in here with unchecked boxes, and then you just check the boxes on the ones you need launched. All in Arma Terrain Pack, Content Pack, Map Pack, Mod Pack, and fuck it, we'll do Optional Pack too. Then you need to put them in order. Uh, the order it gets launched in is important, and it is uh, the same way as put up in the description of the A3J Ops channel. I'll have that included below as well. Just do it in order. First one is going to be the mod pack. You need to launch CBA, which is in the mod pack. That will be your first. Second one, do the content pack. Third one, do all armor terrain pack here. And then the map pack. It's important the terrain pack is before the map pack because the map pack requires it. And the last one, put it on your optional stuff. Doesn't really matter. Just put that at the end. Now you've got it in the right order, Arma 3 goes first, Mod Pack, Content Pack, Terrain Pack, Map Pack, Optional Pack. Good to go. Go up here to Presets, Save As, uh, well, you can call it A3G Ops. There you go. Save it. Now I've got a preset called A3G Ops. Everything's in the right order. Go down to the Battle Eye tab here. Make sure this is unchecked. Our server does not use this and it will stop some of your mods from functioning properly. Uh, just uncheck it and ignore it. In the bottom left here, there's the play button. That's how you start the game. It will start the game depending on what mods you have right there in the mod order. For a quick shortcut, you can click this little arrow next to play and you could launch your presets automatically. You can also launch unmodded, which is the vanilla version of the game without mods, very quickly and easily. That's it. Thank you for watching.